Today we get back our elemental heroes from PSA. What's up guys, we're back with another PSA return video. In this video, we have a 10 card return. This is the second part of our PSA return that we had the other day. Go check it out if you guys missed that video. It's a pretty awesome return. We had some really, really good cards. For that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Trihorn Dragon and this Sacred Venus of Nephthys. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite card from the return. Let's get into the pre-grade. All right, we have 10 awesome cards that we're grading here, like really awesome stuff. So ultimate rares, I think all ultimate rares. Here we go. We're starting with a Neospatian Air Hummingbird. This is the only non-elemental hero in here, but it's close enough. So I, I put this in the same submission. Ultimate rare Neospatian Air Hummingbird. I did grade one of these recently, uh, but I ended up selling that one. So we have another one that's available potentially if we can get the 10. So let's see. Back has a little bit going on there. Yeah, a little bit of scuffing. It's definitely not perfect. Corners look pretty decent i would say pretty decent on the corners uh centering actually looks great on this card I, I feel like this is like a is this a euro print it might be it actually looks really nice corner it's always the top left corner has like a little bit of like yellow and not even yet like whitening it's not quite whitening but it's like it's not perfect it's always the top left corner this card looks really nice i think there's a couple of things going on the back i think it could get the 10 let's go nine on this one though just because the back is not perfect these euro cards are so shiny on the back like any sort of damage is you can kind of see it so if this was like an na card i think it'd be like a clear 10 but because it's the euro i think it's a euro at least it looks a lot different it's probably gonna get the nine next up we have a really cool card this is uh this card kind of got the starter deck treatment where it's a starter deck card and so it's like it's it's always cheap but then like the ultimate rare from like the main set nobody cares about but this is such a cool card like it's a classic blade edge is so cool and i always thought his artwork looked really good so he's a little bit underrated super rare from elemental energy you always think of those better cards from elemental energy when you instead of this card the corners it's also only a super rare so it's a little bit easier to get as an ultimate back looks super clean on this card i mean it looks really good corners look good i mean i think we're looking at a psa 10 on this i'm gonna guess psa 10 on the pre-grade we will see how it goes in the you know in the same video for you guys but that looks amazing let's go to the next one elemental hero dark bright boo if you're an old school ruxin fan you guys know what i'm talking about elemental hero dark bright we ended up getting like a i think a nine at bgs when i graded the one that's like the iconic boom uh centering looks good so maybe we can get a little redemption here with PSA corners. I think the one was off centered, the one that I pulled back is very nice. It does have the box, which, you know, some people take off for. But honestly, if it's just the box, I think it shouldn't take off because like, look at the actual surface. I mean, it looks insane. Really good. I mean, I think this is like a PSA 10 candidate. There's a slight whitening on this edge at the bottom, but I think that this should get a 10. It depends on the box. They might say, oh, it's the box is showing through. It's going to get a nine, but I'm going to go PSA 10 on this thing. Let's see if we can get it on the next card. Here we have an elemental hero Aqua Neo. So this is one of the ones that can be like silver stamp. And it's so hard to tell like when you're looking at them, like this is gold, but like you're looking at it and you're like, wait, is that silver? You know, it looks silver the whole time. And it, you know, you have to like do it like that. And then it kind of looks gold, but yeah, this, this card's very cheap on like TCG player because a bunch of people are selling the counterfeits, but this is not the counterfeit. So it's actually a lot harder to find, you know, because they, they gave out a million of those counterfeits. If you guys haven't seen my video about that, go check it out. I mean, yeah, we talked about how many how many different counterfeits were out. There's like 500,000 of all the four counterfeits or whatever, which is insane. Centering's definitely pushed that way. Centering uh, is basically the only thing I see wrong. I mean, there's like some slight scratches on the back. I'm gonna go nine on this thing because of the centering mostly. And then like the back is not completely perfect. So that'll probably push it to the nine, you know, definitively. So let's go nine on the Aqua Neos. All right, now we have Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Yes, the Flame Wingman. We have never grew i don't think we've graded a 10 we graded a 9 i also had a 10 at one point that i bought this thing is definitely off centered but it was super clean like the front looks good now look at the back the back looks amazing i mean it looks super solid so i was like yeah let's send this in it's always the top left see what i'm saying even though that's technically the right on the front but corners look pretty good i think this is going to get a nine based on centering but it is pretty off centered so there is a chance because it's way off centered they give it an eight but i'm going to be positive let's go with a nine i think it'll get that but the reason it might not get a nine is because we do also have another one that's a little bit better centered it's also but it's pushed the opposite way so sometimes they'll give one a nine one an eight because you know there's two of them in a row you know so it's like well this one's better than that one so this can't be a nine i think this is the one that has a corner issue though so this one is super clean it's a little bit better centered but i think it's one of the corners it might be this one i think is this it 
Yeah, that's it. Okay, it's a very small corner issue, but there's a little nick there. The centering is better than the other one, and the surface is like just as clean for the most part. There's a little bit going on in the middle, but then it has that corner. So I think it could still get the nine with that. Uh, I think it probably will get the nine with that. That's why I'm submitting it. I think there is a chance at the eights, but I'm gonna go nine again. Let's see double nines in the flame wing man. That'd be awesome. All right, now you guys have seen what we thought we got on these cards. There's some pretty quality minty cards in here. So I'm really hoping we got some tens. Once again, no upcharges. Last time we didn't get any upcharges either. And we got three tens. So that was really nice. So hopefully that's the same case here. Maybe we get four tens, five tens, six tens, all tens. Okay, maybe not. Let's see. All right, we've gotten all the cards out. We've seen the pre-grade. We know like, you know, what I guess, what I thought we might get. I also noticed something interesting. We are in the 70 million certs now. So there's always been some like stimulus about like, remember the 20 million certs, like, ooh, they might not be as strong of PSA 10s or whatever, and then the 40 millions and stuff like that. So now we're all the way up to 70 million, which is, it's funny to see that because the last return we just got back like a couple days ago, it was in the 69 million. So they've already moved up to 70 million. Cool to see. Let's get right into it. Let's see what we got. I'm a little nervous because this is a pretty big sub. There's some really good stuff in here. I specifically remember Air Neos and then a couple other elemental heroes. I don't remember all of them, but Air Neos, is going to be insane if we get a 10 on that i it's tough to get those those ulti 10s though so we'll see what happens corners appear to be pretty good on this card seems to be nice on the back all right first is elemental hero thunder giant this is actually an unlimited card that we graded so we sent an unlimited but it is an ulti so it would be pretty cool to get a 10 i bet there's not too many unlimited ultis of this card out there in psa 10 so that would be pretty nice thunder giant let's just go ahead and see what we got i don't remember what i predicted on this card we are recording to make sure everything's good to go we got oh let's go that's a good start elemental hero thunder giant unlimited very nice but we have i also have a first edition one of these so we now have unlimited and first edition thunder giant pretty cool like you might be like why do you send unlimited I, I don't know it just feels like an even the like an unlimited the ulti is still really cool so i figured i'd send it in it was also really minty so i maybe should have sent that at like a lower rate i sent it at a hundred dollars all these so it was like a thousand bucks for all of these which is pretty expensive maybe i should have sent it at like the 50 dollar rate or something like that but i wanted it to be in this this hero submission it, it fit the theme that's probably the best reason to, that i sent it so we get a little scuff there but back seems pretty nice Corners look good. Good start to our submission, though. We got a PSA 10. You love to see that. Let's see what's up next. We've got a Dark Bright. Okay, this one was not unlimited. I think we had two unlimited. So we might have had a Flare Neos that was unlimited, too. This one, that corner, it's not cut bad. It's just not as square as you might want to see or like perfectly rounded, I guess you would say. Not necessarily square because square cut is not a thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! unless it's an error. So let's see if we got a 10 on this Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom. This is not the one that we pulled when you said Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you're an old school watcher of the channel or you've at least seen that video. Okay, let's see what we got. Do we get the 10? Oh, a mint nine. Okay, this one did have a harsh back stamp. That could be why, maybe, uh, that's gotta be it. I don't really see anything else going on here with that card, but centering looks pretty good. So yeah, it's gotta be the backstand, which is unfortunate because that's just, you know, right out of the factory. Okay, no big deal. That's not the biggest card or anything. I mean, it's a, it's a decent card, but it's never been that expensive. This one does have a backstamp. Doesn't seem as harsh because that one had an entire box. So we'll see if that still counts off corners, which is pretty good. The thing is, it's like, you don't actually know if that's the reason you just kind of have to guess. So yeah, let's see what we got. We have a blade edge. This would be a really cool 10. Blade edge is a really classic uh, GX anime card, but not really great at anything in terms of the TCG. And it's really not that rare because it's a super ulti, so it's not as bad as like the ultra ulties but so is cyber dragon it's still worth a lot so it's not as rare it's still in a hobby box though so that is pretty tough to find of elemental energy card looks really good centering looks pretty good maybe slightly shifted that way but still pretty good let's see if we got the 10 from Jaden. one of Jaden's ace cards not his ace card but one of them Ooh, a nine okay i wonder if it's because of the back stamp it's pretty light but it is i mean it is there you can see it i don't really see much else with this card that's gonna be pretty tough to get tens on ultis if they're counting off for that so there's another nine one for three it was an unlimited card unfortunately we have a very shiny back there's another back stamp but the back looks so clear please be something good all right air hummingbird we we had a 10 of this recently that we sold but the very nice card centering looks good corners look good I forgot to check the corners on the back. Let's see real quick. We'll just flip it straight over and see what we got. Okay, maybe a little. It's wider on that corner, but it's not bad. All right, let's see what it was. Neospatian Air Hummingbird. 
Gem Mint 10. Okay, very nice. This actually does not have a lot of 10. So having two of these recently is actually pretty cool. Where did that other one come from? Did I grade it? I think I graded it. Or did I? I can't remember now for some reason. No, we haven't had a... I don't know where that card came from, but I had another 10 recently. I think I graded it. No, it was in my bulk sub. That's what it was. Yeah, it was from my bulk sub. Speaking of bulk sub, I have another bulk sub that just moved to grading today. Uh, they also announced a $15 special. So I did 15 and then they took it away for a month and now it's back. So if you want to do $15 PSA, check it out now. Not sponsored, by the way. And then I have another PSA return that's like Starlights and stuff like that that I sent. And that's on like step six. So we'll have a couple more PSA videos coming out soon. So that one did have a back stamp and it made it through. So maybe it wasn't the back stamp. This one has a very light one as well. Corners look good. That's good. That was from Strike of Neos. Maybe we'll get another Strike of Neos 10 if you guys know what I'm talking about. Maybe the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Who knows? Okay. Uh, back centering. Look, there's me. Hello, guys. Oh. I almost, almost turned it over. <gasps> Here it is. Here it is. Oh, centering's not perfect on this card. Look at the Eye of Anubis. It's shifted on this. I never noticed that. That's actually crazy. Look how shifted the Eye of Anubis is. It's definitely not centered as well. This is not going to get a 10, unfortunately. Hopefully, we get the 9. Come on, Aaron Neos. Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Get a 9 at least. Okay. All right. Okay. We can take that. Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Getting the 9. Definitely a little bit off-centered. And then that uh, that is actually really cool that that is shifted like that. I never noticed that when I actually, like, we did the pre-grade. Still didn't notice it. Air Neos. PSA 9, very cool card. So we're now two out of five, not bad. Of course, like the, the lowest end stuff is getting the 10. I think Helmingbird's still worth like eight or $900, which is still really big. Uh, I bet the Thunder Giant's probably not up there though, unlimited. All right, halfway through, five cards to go. So far, pretty decent. We haven't gotten anything under a nine, which is awesome. Knock on wood, if you're watching right now, we do not want to get under a nine, but we're doing pretty well, I would say. I don't remember predicting under a nine, but I, I did the last one I did on a couple of them, so maybe, or on one of them. Corners look good, 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 wait. Maybe. Yeah, it's good. Okay, it was just a sleep. All right, back surface. The surfaces are all really clean. Let's see what else we got. 70 million cert. Oh, the Dark Neos. I've graded a few of these in my time grading with PSA. This one, probably the best one in terms of centering. Usually they're kind of off centered from Power of the Duelist. Whew, come on. BR10. BR10, Dark Neos. Come on. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> what? I jinxed it. No. Come on. Where's the eight? All right, something weird happened with my recording, and I think we still have the footage, so we should still be good. But uh, yeah, we're trying to figure out why this is an eight. We knocked on wood, we got an eight, and then the camera just exploded, so I don't know what happened. I really don't see much going on with this card to get it an eight. I might have to do an in-depth, like, maybe there's a little, oh, wait, is there a little? That might be a shadow. I can't say, yeah, it's a shadow, okay. I thought there was a little... Yeah, I'm gonna have to inspect that later. I can't really tell. I don't know, maybe the pre-grade showed something and yeah, maybe you guys already know. So uh, let's just go to the next card. Hopefully that is the last eight of the video. Um, corners look pretty good. Surface looks pretty good on whatever card this is. Aqua Neos, this is not a counterfeit one, which is nice. We've got corners that look good. We've got corners that look good. Very nice. Also, these things, it's like you look for the silver and they always look silver. You gotta really do it like, oh, there, there's the gold, okay. This card looks pretty nice. Corners look pretty good. Let's see what we got. Come on. Let's go. 10. Oh, a nine. Okay. Aqua Neos. This would be pretty sick as a 10 because there's so many out there as like the silver stamp that they're not worth that much, but the gold stamps are actually pretty difficult to find compared to the silver. So very, very nice. All right. It's a nine. Unfortunately, not a 10. Three to go. Can we get another 10? Let's go. Corner. Nice. Corner. Nice. Wait, I missed something. Uh, maybe, maybe some edge wear up there a little bit. Those look good. I can't really tell. Oh, here's the unlimited. Yeah, I think this did have top edge wear, didn't it? I think it did have some. Okay, so this looks really cool. Unlimited ulti. Flare Neos looks amazing. Let's just see what it got. A nine. Okay, so I think it had some edge wear at the top. Pretty sick card, even for an unlimited card. We'll definitely take this and a nine. Flare Neos. I think the unlimiteds may have only come in Europe, so that's why it has this cool foiling. So pretty cool to grade the unlimiteds because they look really nice. Two more cards to go in our return. We have corners. Yes, they, we do indeed have corners, four of them. Um, looks pretty good. Surface looks pretty good. Maybe a little tiny dot in the middle there on the back. What else do we have? We have flame wingman. Uh-oh. Why? Why did I submit this? This thing is very off-centered. Very off-centered. Corners. I mean, not cut great. Oh, oh, come on. Please don't give us the eight. Come on. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, it's such a minty card to get an eight, though. Oh, Man, I really jinxed this. Like, it's going pretty well. And then it fell off. It definitely fell off. So, okay, wow. They scratched up the back of this case big time. Look at that. Wow, that is not looking so good. All right, corners look good. End us with a bang. I think this might be another flame wing, man. It is. This one is uh, 
Definitely better centering. It's not perfect, but it's better centering. I'm thinking we get the nine on this one. It's not definitely not great centering. Let's see. Surface looks good. Let's end it with the bang. Nine at least. Ten would be amazing. Let's see, Flame Wingman. Oh, come on. Two eights. Okay, this one's a little more rough. It is off center, but I don't think it's eight off centered, right? This one I would say is a nine off center. And then this, wow, this case just got waxed okay this is probably one that eventually we just take it out of this case because that is unfortunate oh flame wingman so this one definitely didn't go as well as the other one ah, i was like wow we're going well no 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 hates and then we get three eights out of the last five that's unfortunate a little disappointing but still we did get a couple of tens which is cool and some definitely some solid nines so that's just how it goes when you grade with psa and just grade cards in general so because you're not always going to get tens, unfortunately. So, all right, that's it. This has been a fun video. We have more PSA coming up. We're definitely going to submit more stuff to PSA because I know you guys love watching this stuff and I love submitting it and getting it back and doing all that stuff. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, An Unatized Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Shadowfall, and Thomas McClain. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.